Yes, guys. Hello and welcome back to another Spurs related YouTube video. I hope everyone's doing very well today. Today, we thought we'd do a quick 10 minute video to go through the predicted lineup for the Tottenham Hotspur versus Man United game at Old Trafford tomorrow at 4.30. And as I, as you can see, I'm joined alongside Wacko Jacko from Jacko's Talks. Jack, how you doing, mate? James, I'm doing well. Would have thought you probably got a better intro for me now, but we're going to persevere with it anyway, mate. Um, now, I'm doing well. Looking forward to the massive match tomorrow. We've got a lot to talk about, uh, about maybe what players, maybe any debut um, debuts from Timo Werner or Dragushin. We will see. We'll get into it. Yeah, love it. And guys, if you like these little short sort of videos, we might make it almost like a series of predicted lineups. Uh, for each game. So if you in, are enjoying these little analysis videos and who we think is going to be lining up for the big game at the weekend, please do smash the thumbs up. Let's see if we can get, I'm going to do a small like total of 50 likes. Can everyone smash the thumbs up? Subscribe if you're new and turn post notification bells on, which is just below the video. That would be fantastic. Thank you very much for all the support recently. We really, really do appreciate it. But Jack, let's get straight into things. And very quickly, before I do bring up the lineup graphic, we did have, as you just mentioned, two potential debutants in Timo Werner and Radu Dragushin coming straight into the side. Obviously, we have a lot of injury problems and we will reflect these in the video. But just very quickly, Jack, can you see both of these guys starting? You know what? I can definitely see Timo Werner starting. I think he's had a, I think a good week of training under Postacoglu and I think we're very short, especially on the left wing currently with Son at the Asian Cup of Games and then maybe Brown Hill not quite performing and good enough, in my opinion, probably to start away at Old Trafford right now. And I feel like Postacoglu has full belief in these signings. And I think Timo Werner is one of them. So I can definitely see him being chucked straight in the deep end. And Dragashin, I think he may start as Romero isn't fully fit, but I wouldn't be su surprised to see Postacoglu trust Romero as well. But I think we've got a lot of good centre-half options, which if you told me that two weeks ago, then I'll be over the moon. Absolutely. We've almost got... Uh, a dilemma on our hands because we've got Romero, like you said, who's coming back from injury, but we've got Dragushin, who's ready and, and raring to go. Paperwork was all signed as per Paul O'Keefe, completely uh, uh, has, has confirmed that Dragushin is available for the game at Man United. So he is in the mix for a starting 11th place. We've also got Madison on the verge of coming back, probably not going to be available in the squad on Sunday. Uh, Kulazewski, there is talks, but it's not tier one talks, is it, Jack, that he could have a knock. So we're not too sure if he's going to be starting, but we've actually gone with this lineup to predict things. So here we go, Jack. Let's break it down slightly. The person at the bottom there. So I think, and I think you're agreeing with me on most of this, we're going to have Vicario in goal. We're going to have Pedro Porro right back. Dragushin is going to come straight in at right centre-back. And the reason why I think that, Jack, I know you said you thought it might be Romero. But I think Dragushin comes in just because we don't want to force Romero back in a high-intensity game. And he's just had a knock, hasn't he? He's just had an injury for a couple of weeks. Yeah, I don't think he should be forced straight back into this uh, lineup. But again, I could be wrong. Uh, Jack, we'll talk about that in just a minute. I think Van der Ven's coming back. We've seen he's in training. We saw he was on the bench in that cup game against Burnley. Udoji, obviously, left back. He's been fantastic recently. And then the number six position. I think it'll be Oli Skip. Although, Jack, as we mentioned offline, I wouldn't be surprised if Hoiberg comes in for a, for a bit of experience in a big, big profile game. Um, so it will be interesting to see if um, it will be Hoiberg or Skip. Again, we'll talk about that in just a minute. I've then gone Benton Kerr as the eight. Kulizewski as the 10, because Lo Celso is injured, as per confirmed by... Uh, Ange Postacoglu in his press conference and the fact that obviously Madison is still not back, which leaves us with the three attackers of Timo Werner coming straight in at left wing to make his debut, coming in off that left-hand side, potentially interchanging with Richarlison at up front. And I think Brennan Johnson on the right, who has to have a good game. He has to been slacking a bit. Obviously, it's going to take some time to get used to an Ange Postacoglu system and being his new club in Tottenham. But I just want a big game from him. But Jack... Just very quickly, what do you think of this lineup? Can it beat Man United? And would there be any changes you think would would be made? What I think is really interesting about this lineup specifically is that 
I feel like we're so much stronger defensively than actually going forward. I think bringing back Van der Ven is going to be absolutely crucial in this game, especially dealing with the pace of Garnacho and Rashford in behind. I think Dragashin as well, from what we can work out, is going to be a fantastic centre half for us. I actually said off camera to James that I wouldn't be surprised if Romero is brought straight back in because you, if he's fit and he's trained, is it more of a risk to bring Romero in or is it more of a risk to bring Dragashin in? For me... Yes, it might be more of a risk to bring in Romero, considering he's just had, a, had an injury. But the importance of this game, you want your best players to play. And in my opinion, you'd want to have a back two that has played together and knows each other's roles. Um, like James, I'm sure, I don't know if you saw the video the other day of Richarlison and um, Dragasheen doing the warm-ups together. Obviously, they didn't. he didn't quite know the warm-ups. So I'm kind of comparing it with... The match, does Romero and Van der Ven know how to play with each other really well? Of course they do. We've seen them be probably the one of the best centre-half partnerships in the league this season when both fully fit. So for me, that would be the preferred lineup. But like like we say, I trust Poster Cogley signing. So if he plays, then brilliant. Um, Pedro Porro and Udoji, I think they've been unbelievable for us this season. Some of the best fullbacks in the league. Uh, so they're going to be pivotal to how we start our attacks. And as well, we know they might leave space behind. But if they're doing more going forward, then we can do that. Obviously, a midfield three of Bentecourt, Skip and Kudasevsky. I think Bentecourt and Kudasevsky need to be fit for this match. You've got Kudasevsky, who we're going to rely on for the creativity and maybe even the goals, James, if we're looking about to come into the front three. And then you've got Bentecourt, who obviously, as we know, is a Rolls-Royce in the midfield, the technical elegance, composure on the ball. Um, he's just the perfect number eight. I wouldn't be surprised, even though if he plays in the number six role, just to kind of control the play, dictate the game. But we've also gone with Skip, who... I think has come under scrutiny the last couple of weeks. I think a lot of Spurs fans are kind of beginning to get impatient with uh, Oliver Skip just because he's not really performing to the level that is required to be competing at the top of the table. But let's hope it's a big game for him. I think the most important thing is, is he breaking down the play? Is he winning the midfield battle? Obviously, we know that Fernandez is going to be key to stop. Can he stop Fernandez from creating deep? That's going to be very important. I'm just hoping him and Bentacool can work well together. And then um, going forward to the front three line now, we have Johnson, Richardson, and Werner. I think my worry would be with Johnson, Richardson, and Werner is specifically Johnson and Werner. They're very fast in behind. They win the ball high up and they're brilliant when they're kind of played through as James is showing there. We know that they're going to get up and down the wings and they're going to look to kind of be played through from Kudasevsky and Bentacor. However, I've got a feeling that Man United might start quite deep, James, and they're mm. going to rely on Varane and Maguire aerially and kind of defend from their own box and then kind of hit yeah. on the counter-attack, which would probably suit them better. But it would be harder for Werner and Richardson and Johnson to get in the game. However, I think Werner does put in decent balls when he plays on the left-hand side. And we know one of Richardson's main strengths, James, is aerially. So, yeah. it may work for us. Johnson's also got a couple of assists this season. We know he got a last-minute winner assist, the Kulisevsky, sorry, last-minute equaliser when he set up Kulisevsky, who scored with his head. Um, so, it's going to be interesting, uh, James. I think it's going to be a real tactical battle this match. Yeah. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what Werner especially can do because he's going to have a point to prove James coming back to the Premier League and imagine how much confidence a debut goal at Old Trafford would do for him. Would be absolutely phenomenal. I think you're spot on. And I think just to build on what you were saying there about the crosses into Richarlison, I think we're going to see a lot of Timo Werner coming down this left-hand side and trying to put balls across to Richarlison. And I think we were also potentially, if you agree, Jack, I yes. think we could see Richarlison coming into the left at times, Werner sort of taking that space in the middle, and then yes. Johnson supporting the attacks from the right-hand side. And I think even when Johnson goes forward here, I think you probably see Kulazewski come and cover this right-hand side a bit with his natural right-wing position. You could mm -hmm. even see Werner drop into the 10, and then Richarlison go this this side, and potentially even Kulazewski could end up on the left, yeah. although he does always end up cutting into his left. So... I don't know. I, I think this, what I'm basically trying to say is I think this is very interchangeable. I think this is going to be quite a fluid front four. That's because what I was actually, say. if you think about it, Richarlison's not a natural, natural number nine. He, he sort of played off the left for Everton a lot of the time. Yeah. Werner also, you know, he is a number nine, but also lo loves to play off the left-hand side. And Kulazewski, we, well, we're debating if his best position is the number 10 or is it yeah. still that right wing position? So I think there's actually going to be a bit of interchanging here. And, and James, I, I, Go on. 
sorry, just to interrupt, I, I totally echo all your thoughts and I like the way you've articulated it. I actually think you're spot on. What I think we need to look out for is actually a lot of balls across the box being flashed across. So letting J Johnson and Werner get that yard of space. But what you'll see as well, I think, if you actually bring, bring Ben to course slightly higher, I think you'll see him make a lot of deep runs. I think we'll mm -hmm. overload the box, try to cram it so Man United can't deal with it. And we know that Varane and Maguire, if it is Maguire and Varane to play, or they may even play... Um, Martinez, who is apparently back from fitness, you'll see them, us, I think, pack the box and really try and get on the end of low crosses. I think it will be not crosses aerially. I know we've got Richarlison, who I said is good at that. I think it will be fast, whipped crosses to try and make them make a mistake. And I think that will be the common theme. How quickly can we get after their fullbacks? Can we make that yard of space to get a ball across the box? And like we say, if you've got Richardson, Johnson, Werner, Kulisevsky, Ben's court all making late runs, it's going to be hard for them to deal with that. So that, to me, is the key. Can we get at them early? Let's load the box. Let's overload them and really let Man United panic because we've seen this season, they're not always the most composed playing out from the back. Let's really overload that box and try and get a few early goals. Completely agree. I, I, I think, like you said, I think Man United might start deep. And I think... I. Personally, I've obviously already told uh, said my prediction. I think it will be. I, th I could see. I think I said a three-one yesterday, but I could see a th even a three-two Tottenham win. I think there is going to be goals in this, and I think Man United are going to start on the back foot. foot. We're going to start really loading that box and trying to get an early goal. And obviously, even to build on this, you're going to have Udoji in that inverted fullback position, almost coming inside as well. You could even then see Kulusevski doubling up with Johnson, Udoji coming forward, Bentenker helping out. There could yeah. be six attackers at times. We know Poro loves to get up and down this right hand side as well. I think we're going to really be flooding them. The only thing I worry about is Rash and Ganacho on the counter-attack. Yeah. Can Oli skip mop up and do anything about those counter-attacks? Because and you're gonna, gonna have James, you're gonna have in incidences where you're gonna have Pedro Poro if you push him up as well, and Udoji, and even bring Udoji up, this is where they're gonna exploit. You can see because Pedro Poro loves to get forward as well. He's not gonna be able to help himself, which we want him to do. But mm. look at that space in behind. Is Skip going to be able to mop up the plate? Is he kind of a better mover? and good on the half turn to be able to deal with the pace of Rashford and Garnacho. And you're also going to see Dragasheen step up. So you've got to hope that Mickey van der Ven has the pace to recover. So the reason why I think the game's going to be 3-2 Tottenham is because I'm hoping that Spurs will just have a bit too much quality in the final third and kind of get those early goals. But I think we're going to allow lots of space for Rashford and Garnacho to get into. I'm just kind of backing my centre-halves and forwards that will have too much for them up front. And then van der Ven and Dragasheen or van der Ven and Romero will be able to win the ball earlier on to start our attacks. But when they do get through, they're going to be able to mop it up, Van de Ven and, and Romero or Dragasheen. So I think it's a real interesting game, James. And that's why I've gone for a high score and one. Yeah, no, I completely agree. Jack, fantastic analysis from you. And that was that was good fun. I uh, enjoyed uh, the little interchanging and the little, you know, moving the, the pieces on that little app there. It was good. <laughs> Good fun. Maybe we'll do more of that. But guys, if you did enjoy that little analysis and predicted lineups video, please, like I said at the start of the video, smash thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new for more content every single day on this channel. Without fail, we're uploading every single day, aren't we, Jack? And turn yeah. those post notifications on so you never miss a video. All three of those are free to do so. But if you did want to support the channel in any way, shape or form, the Super Chat option is available as well as memberships. And there will be some membership uh, exclusive videos coming very soon once we've built those up. So please do support the channel in any way you can. Stay tuned. And as always, guys, 3-2 Spurs. And remember, come, come on, you Spurs. Come on. Can we get the win? I think we yes. can. Cool.